Welcome to Help, your guide to a successful idea paint installation. In addition to this video, please review the detailed instructions included in your kit. Idea Paint is a single coat roller applied whiteboard paint that transforms virtually anything you can paint into a limitless dry erase surface. Idea Paint is used around the globe to create innovative spaces that boost creativity, collaboration, and learning. Before we can start painting, we need to prepare our surface. Start by covering the floor with a drop cloth and tape off all the wall's edges with painter's tape. Your idea paint surface will only be as smooth as the surface it's applied to, so it's important to take time and prepare the surface properly. Typically, small spot repairs with spackle or putty are sufficient, but in some cases a skim coat will be required. Be sure to use one of the approved primers listed in the instructions of your idea paint kit. Dark surfaces, including chalkboards, may require more than one primer coat to ensure full coverage. Let the primer dry according to the manufacturer's specifications before moving on to the idea paint application. Once your prime surface is dry, lightly scuff the entire surface with 120 grit sandpaper to create a profile for optimal idea paint adhesion. Check for any rough or noticeable high spots. Wipe your surface with a clean, dry cloth to remove any dust or debris. Idea paint has a stronger odor than a normal latex paint. Therefore, you should always work in a well-ventilated area. Open windows, and if possible, set HVAC systems to full exhaust out. The odor fully dissipates within 24 hours. As with any paint, Idea Paint recommends protecting your skin and eyes. Wear a dust mask, safety glasses, appropriate clothing, and protective gloves when applying. Each kit of Idea Paint is formulated to cover the area specified. Stretching the product or applying it too thin will affect the appearance and performance of your Idea Paint surface. Idea Paint also dries quickly. Once mixed, you have about one hour to apply, so be sure you have all your materials ready to go before mixing. Mixing Idea Paint is as simple as pouring this into that and stirring thoroughly. Stir the paint until you have a smooth, even texture and color. When installing multiple kits of Idea Paint, mix two kits to begin the application. When less than one kit of idea paint remains in the tray or pail, stir and add an additional kit as needed. Work continuously across the wall, painting full top to bottom two to three foot wide sections. Ensure you are maintaining a wet edge as if applying an epoxy or gloss enamel. Start by cutting in with an edging roller around the top, bottom, and sides of your first section. Next, use your 9-inch roller frame with supplied roller cover to paint the edged-in area. For larger areas, an extension pole will be helpful. Apply liberally for adequate coverage. After rolling a section for coverage, back roll the section for smoothness and consistency. This simply entails slightly overlapping top to bottom strokes of your roller using light pressure. You should only back roll the most recent section. Be sure to cut in around light switches, door handles, etc. only within your current section. For more detailed edging, a foam brush can work well. Once you have completed the first section, take a moment to inspect your work. Look for uneven coverage or missed spots, lap marks or roller marks, drips, pinholes, or debris. If you need to make repairs, do so immediately with your wet roller, as you won't be able to return to this section later. Once you're comfortable with your first section, go ahead and cut in your next two to three foot area. Using your wet edge, overlap the first section to ensure even coverage and feather any roller marks. Remember to only back roll the section you are now working in. Check your work making sure to inspect the wall for any imperfections. Make repairs immediately, back roll for smoothness, and move on. Following this technique will ensure your wall is free of roller marks, lap marks, and missed spots. Change roller covers every two to three kits during application, or sooner if they begin to deteriorate and leave debris behind. 
Also, change bucket and tray liners every three to four kits to prevent the product from hardening in the bottom. Repeat these steps throughout your idea paint application until your service is complete. Ideally, the tape should be removed while the surface is still wet. If the paint has dried on the tape, gently score along the edge with a razor blade and remove to prevent any tearing. Idea paint will usually be dry to the touch in a couple of hours. Use denatured alcohol or mineral spirits to clean up any drips or spills while the product is still wet. Hang the wet paint sign included in your kit next to your idea paint surface and write in the date it will be ready for use. Idea Paint takes seven days to cure, so be sure not to write on your new Idea Paint wall before it's ready. For more information on Idea Paint, including creative uses and technical specifications, visit ideapaint.com.